Hello, hello, uh, punk rockin' here again. Um, this time I'm gonna show you how to scrape cover art for your video game collection on your Retropie. What is scraping? A really creepy ass word for automatically finding cover art. Um, now there are two ways you can go about this. Um, I will go through both of them in this video. Both these methods I have used and I like both of them. Now there is one way to scrape cover art that does not need a keyboard and the other, me the other method needs one to navigate through the menus and to type some text. Um, also we will need a controller, retro, pi, raspberry pi set up, installed and updated and at least one ROM on there. Um, unless you want to try to put cover art, whatever. But uh, we will also need an internet connection for this one. You can either use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Ethernet will be a lot faster, uh, so I would recommend that if you can pull it off. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know how to do Wi-Fi, uh, check out my other video on how to do that, and then come back here. Uh, the best way to go about it would be to put all your games on there first and then scrape, or you can do it system by system. To each their own uh, but just do whatever works best for you uh, stay tuned after um, the how-to on pros and cons of each method uh, the best uses for them with all that out of the way let's uh, get to it I'll meet you over at the uh, TV all right the first method is pretty easy and you don't need a keyboard for it again make sure your RetroPie is connected to the internet and fire that bad boy up Fire it up, man! Uh, this is the same method I used in my video, how to set up a RetroPie and get one ROM going. Alright, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with the Nintendo. So I'm going to hit A to get into the games. And as you can see, uh, these games don't have cover art. Um, I am going to call this the RetroPie built-in method. Uh, so go ahead and hit the start button on your controller. And then I'm going to hit A on Scraper here. Keep these settings. Hit Scrape Now. And I am going to select just the Nintendo Entertainment System. So in this next screen, you go to Systems. You can do it uh, system by system or all at once if you want. And I'm going to go ahead here. And I'm going to keep this on. I'm going to show you both what both look like. Uh, user decides on conflict. So user decides on conflicts it'll ask you on every single game almost every time so let's go ahead and I'll show you I'm gonna hit start and it's gonna go find the cover so I'm gonna apply this adventures of Lolo 2 adventures of Lolo 2 match them up and same here I'll go ahead and do this one and now not you can go through every single game you have this way to confirm the right cover art. Uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, have the right cover art, so it'll just show up blank here. But let's stop this, and I'll show you what uh, the user conflicts turned off looks like. So I'll hit stop, two games scraped, go back. And as you can see, these are they have cover art now now I'll show you what the uh, so let's go back start scraper skip this scrape now I'm gonna select uh, Nintendo again back and I'm gonna turn this off and the only downside of this is you might get dupes but uh, it'll do this you hit start and now you can just walk away it's gonna go through and put what it thinks is best and uh, you basically walk away for a day, depending on how many games you have, come back, and they should all be scraped, whether they're blank or not. And uh, you can deal with that later, but it should get the bulk of them. And that's really it for the, the RetroPie uh, built-in method. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, it's called Steven Self's Scraper Method. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Atari for uh, that method and show you what's going on here. All right, for Steven Self's method, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure your keyboard is plugged in and we are gonna hit the F4 key on your keyboard. 
this will take you to a command prompt. Now we are going to want to type in this ridiculous command that will take us to the menu to install Steven Self Scraper Thingamajig. Um, I will zoom in on the command once I type it in here. Remember that this is case sensitive and it has to be exactly like uh, what I type in here. The command is lowercase sudo sudo space squiggly line. Now the squiggly line is not next to the number one on, the, on this command prompt. It is on your keyboard next to the number one but to get the squiggly line to show up you need to hit the shift key and then hit the key underneath the backspace on your keyboard here's a picture of what to press on the keyboard if for some crazy reason shift and this key do not work for you uh, you'll have to do what i did and try different keys this should work just fine though i'm just letting you know so you don't sit there all day hitting shift and the key next to one and nothing happens not that you would ever do that, but still. Let's start over. The command again, or the command is sudo all lowercase sudo space squiggly line forward slash retro pi capital R capital P dash setup capital S forward slash retro pi underscore setup dot sh. Um, the command is should be zoomed in now you can see it once you type this in go ahead and hit enter and it'll take you to this screen here all right now that we're that we're at this menu we're going to want to go down to manage packages which is the uh, third option here go down with your keyboard or controller and hit enter on your keyboard here to get to the next menu now we're going to go to manage optional packages the third option go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard here now we are going to go all the way to the bottom. It's an extremely long list. Uh, you can use your controller, but the faster method is to hold the down key on your keyboard and it'll shoot down. It's the very last option. And we are looking for scraper. Uh, it'll just say scraper. So once we get all the way here, go ahead and hit enter. And that is going to bring us to another menu here. In this next menu, when we get there, we're going to choose install from source, and that's going to go ahead and install it. Um, now, there is a part that takes a while. It looks like it's frozen or it's not doing anything. Just a heads up. Don't worry about that. Let that, uh, let that go there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward this one. We will be right back. installed we're going to want to go ahead and update this thing so just go ahead and hit update from source and let the thing do its thing my friend <laughs> Now that that is fully up to date, we are going to stay on this screen here and we are going to go to go into configuration options. Uh, go ahead down there and hit enter. Once in here, we're going to simply want to hit scrape all systems. And then we're going to want to let it uh, do its thing. I only have the uh, Atari 7800 to scrape and a few NES games, so it shouldn't be that long. Uh, you're probably wondering why I didn't choose scrape chosen systems and just choose Atari and wait didn't we already do the NES scraping well uh, after this I will explain everything my friends um, 
you'll get all the info there. But yeah, hopefully you have all your games um, in or all the ones you want to scrape. Go ahead and hit enter and I'll be right back. Now that we have everything scraped uh, to get back to our games we want to go ahead and hit OK to this and we are going to want to hit escape all the way back to the command prompt so go ahead and just keep hitting escape 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 and once we get back to the command prompt we're going to go ahead and type in sudo sudo space reboot here's a quick close-up of that sudo space reboot and then we are going to want to hit enter, and that is going to reboot the uh, RetroPie here. Once the RetroPie comes back up, I'll just quickly show you the Atari cover art and uh, show you what a missing cover art looks like. And then I'll hop into the, uh, the other random knowledge, some stuff I thought you should know. It should be almost done. Here's my sexy splash screen. Should be almost booted up, and here we go. All right, as you can see, uh, the uh, here's the Atari cover art. Most of them, most of it is filled in. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the end here. I'll show you uh, that it missed a few, but overall, it grabbed most of them. You could always try the RetroPie method after this to see if it picks uh, them up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Also, now is a good time to mention that there is a way to fill this in here. See, here's one that has no cover art manually, but that is for another video I regret and one that is not made yet because it is quite a process, but I hope to have uh, one in the future. That's really it for the two methods, though. Uh, On to the pros and cons, I guess we'll call it. All right, so hopefully you know how to add cover art to your RetroPie and uh, can pick which method works best for you. Before I get out of your beautiful face, uh, I just want to go over a few more things and why I didn't choose the scrape by system method using Steven's method just a minute ago. The first one I went through is called the RetroPipe built-in scraper and the second one is called Steven Self Scraper that is spelled S-E-L-P-H-S. I will just refer to them as RetroPie and Steven uh, to keep things not so mind-numbing. Okay, so it might be obvious, but the RetroPie scraper, you have uh, more control over the cover art that is applied, and you get to see each piece of cover art before you apply it. With Steven, uh, he can sometimes make bad decisions because he's a heavy drinker, and uh, you can get, end up with a bunch of duplicates depending on how your ROMs are named or where you get them from. With the RetroPie method, you can do it system by system as well um, this brings me to why I didn't choose system by system when uh, using Steven it doesn't work or I shouldn't say I should say or I haven't gotten it to work yet I haven't spent a ton of time on it though to be honest Steven is so fast that it really doesn't matter to me personally but having said all that maybe it's fixed now give it a go it's not gonna hurt anything um, when I tried it, it would launch, but then I would just get kicked right back to the menu with nothing scraped. So, uh, again, go ahead and give it a go. And when I find out when it's working or how to fix it, I'll let everyone know what is up. Um, how Steven would work then if you didn't do it system by system would be the suck. It would go through uh, every system and it would go through your games uh, you have already scraped too. Not a hundred percent sure if it overwrites it every time since I haven't done any custom cover art yet, but it will go through everything again, even if you have cover art for that game already. Again, Steven's method is so fast with tons of games on there, it shouldn't be an issue uh, even doing it this way. 
The RetroPie method can take long even with user control conflicts off. Um, sometimes using both methods will not find any cover art. There is a way to put your own on there. Um, it's quite a process and I feel like it deserves its own video so uh, stay tuned for that. With all that out of the way, I think the best way to go about it would be put all your games on your RetroPie first. Uh, then run Steven's method, then run the RetroPie method, then put your own custom art um, after using both methods. And then after all that, make sure you back that big ass micro SD card up, man. You don't want to lose all that hard work. Two more things, and then I'm out your face. Promise. I swear. Um, there will be times where you can't get cover art because where the RetroPie goes to check to get cover art will be down uh, this hasn't happened to me yet but I have read about it happening and it being down for several hours and days don't worry just try it again in a few days and it should be back up shit happens uh, lastly I'm not sure if you noticed the other options in Steven's method where we're in that menu I have not used them but I thought I'd mention them go ahead and go through them and check them out uh, see if they'd any value uh, to your uh, Petro Pie there Anyway, that's it for that video, this video, not that video, this video. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're enjoying your RetroPie. Peace out, peeps, and I'll see you next time.